Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Ain't God amen. good? Amen. Let church say amen. 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 We should be people who are smiling this morning because God has allowed the jaw bells to just keep on ringing one amen. more day. Amen. By your voice, people know you. By your walk, people know you. Come By your now. Judaism, people know you. Amen. We're on top of the ground, but not under the ground. I say that God is a good God. Yes, he is. Preacher. I say that God does not owe you another second. He does not no. owe you another minute upon planet Earth. He does not owe your family any, any explanation if he took you like a flower, Amen. went in the garden and plucked you, pulled you, and sucked you on up to... Uh, to the heaven. He would owe nobody no explanation. That's right. God has left us in this nation <clears throat> called America one Amen. more day. Amen. Amen. One more time. And we want to lift him up. Amen. We want to give him all that we got. We want to give him all we got. For just, for just 40 more minutes, we want to give it all focus on God, I'm giving you all of my concentration. That's right. I'm going to give all of my, I don't feel good, God, but I'm going to give it to you. Amen. Some kind of way, I'm going to focus on the fact, amen, what? Amen. Some kind of way, I'm going to focus on the Father in heaven. Amen. I can't do it myself. <laughs> my mind is under attack even while I'm in here. Amen. But by your grace, I'm going to focus on you. Amen. amen. Right? Hold your Bibles up in there. Yes, sir. When your Bible's up in there, kind of wave them just like you just don't care. Amen. You don't care who's watching, who, who's looking. Amen. By word. By, by word. Have a head in my heart. Have a head in my heart. So that I may not sin against thee. So that I may not sin against thee. Thy word. Thy word. Lamp to my feet. A lamp to my feet. And a light to my path. And a light to my path. All right, now. Stand on up. Turn to 1 John 2. 1 John 2. Stand up. 1 John 2. God is going to bless you in your New Testament. 1 John. Amen. All the way close to the back. 1 John 2. 15 and 16 and 17. We'll stop and write that. Amen. 1 John 2. 15. 16 and 17. If you can find the book of Revelation, you can find the book of Genesis. Amen. Revelation is the last book, <clears throat> and then just go back. Start turning to your right. And you'll run right into John. John Street. <laughs> John Street. My copy of the Bible says, Love not the world, Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Verse 16. For all that is in the world is the lust of mm -hmm. Of the flesh and the lust of the eyes mm -hmm. and the pride of life. It is not of the Father, but of this world. 17, the last verse. And the world passeth away. And the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abide forever. Before you take your seat, let's relook at 16 one more time. For all that is in the world, for all that is in the world, let, let them look. Can you find it? Here you go. For all that's in the world. Mm-hmm. Is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. These things are not of the Father. They are of the world. You may be seen. Amen. Based 
saw in verse number 16. For a few humble rolling minutes, I want to talk on the subject called when under attack, prayer is a fact. When under attack, prayer is a fact. Amen. Today, you me, all of us in here, whether you will admit it or not, all of us, no one exempted, all of us right now are under attack. Today there's a battle for your mind. The devil wants your mind. God wants your mind. There's a tug of war between God and the devil. God on one side, the right side, is pulling your man his way. Once God began pulling his way, the devil begins pulling your man in the opposite evil way. I'm talking on the subject called when under attack, prayer is a fact. Let's look at some areas where we are under attack, and then we'll get back to 1 John 2, 16. Come on, boy. When you look in your physical life, some of us are under attack physically. Your body. Uh -huh. Somewhere in your body you're feeling pain. Yeah, you are. Amen. And aches. Uh-huh. And chokes. Amen, Lord. Your body. Is under attack by disease. And when disease attacks your body, it is designed to let not let your body be at ease. That's why they call it disease. Amen. But somebody's body physically is under attack. I have a lot of headaches. Uh -huh. So I know that. My body is under attack. Sometimes I got to shut the lights up. Uh -huh. Amen. The noise down. Amen. Get away from everybody. Oh yeah, I get sick sometimes. All of us, yours may be Arthur. Mm -hmm. How many know Arthur in here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you will know Arthur one day. Amen. Yeah. You may not know him right away because you're young him. right now. But, but keep on walking life away, <laughs> and I guarantee you, Arthur going to get in your way. Amen. Guaranteed. Bodies are under attack, amen, Walt. Amen. But let's go back to my title tag. When under attack, when my body is under attack, I need to be reminded that prayer is a fact, amen, Walt. You can count on God. In prayer, when your body is under attack, amen, Wall. Yes, sir. The food we eat is attacking our bodies. We eat eating different type of food than we did in the 60s and the yeah. 70s, amen, Wall. Some of you may not say, well, I wasn't born in the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't born in the 50s. I wasn't born, uh, no doubt, in the 70s, amen, amen. Wow. amen. But you're here and you're drinking water, in my opinion, that is not safe, amen, wow. amen. We eat food that are not safe, amen, wow. amen. We're breathing air, our air is under attack, but don't miss the point. When under attack, prayer is a fact, a fact. <laughs> amen, amen, wow. amen. Listen to me. Some of us are experiencing demonical attack. Uh -huh. Demonical attack. Demonic attack. This is where demons, the devil's captains, his sergeants, his lieutenants, amen, wall. Uh -huh. They begin attacking your mind, amen, uh -huh. wall. That's why I told you there's a pool for your mind. The devil does not go after your body. He goes after your mind. Your mind. 
But mind your when he gets your mind, you he's got you. your behind. See the behind <laughs> hey, gonna follow. Hey, the hey, mind hey, gonna follow. Hey, there you go. We are under attack. Driving down 610 and 45 South, 45 North. They have a bunch of demons behind these wheels. Okay. I mean, what's making people do the crazy, crazy stuff they do on the freeway? They got to be the money minded, amen, wall. Amen. There was a time when God allowed the devil to come in and attack your body and possess your body. Now we're at the, at the age where the devil can get in our mind. And when do we get in our mind? When we leave the mind of God. Amen. When you leave the mind of God, there's only one mind to entertain, and that's the mind of the devil. Now, where do you find the mind of God at? He is the mind of God. Amen. The Bible, this represents the mind of God. That's why your liberty mind must always, every day, throughout the day, be put inside the mind of God. The Bible says, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. What kind of mind did they have? They had a humble mind. They had a harmonious mind. They had a happy mind. Let this mind be in you, family brethren. Yeah. Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of a good report, if there be any virtue, Philippians 4, 16, yes. if there be any praise, he says, think on these things. Proverbs 23, 9, as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. So is that man. Mm -hmm. When under attack, when our mind is under attack, what must we do? We must realize when under attack, that prayer it's a fact. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. Prayer has saved many bodies. Human bodies. Prayer has saved many human minds. Amen. Well, Amen. you can count on prayer. You can depend on prayer. I have discovered that God answers prayer. Amen. And that's why I pray about everything all the time, throughout the day, because in prayer, God will surely meet me there. Amen. 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 Whoa. Oh, yes. Listen to me. I'm listening, boy. Come on. Not only we are under attack physically and demonically, but we are under attack spiritually. Spiritually. There's an invisible war going on. You cannot see the demons that are attacking you, for they are invisible. By the way, are you Amen. praying that one more come through the door? Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Hope Amen. need to hear this good stuff. Amen. Amen. We are under attack. And a lot of times we, when we are under attack, we don't know what to do, but we are under attack spiritually. The Bible says in Ephesians 6, 10, finally, my brethren, yeah, finally. be strong uh -huh. in the Lord. Amen. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And blood. Come on, boy. It don't work. The fight ain't between flesh and blood. And if you get in a fight, nobody's going to win, even though we do declare some folk won. Amen, amen. Wall. Amen. But really, ain't no winners. Amen, Wall. Because we ain't fighting against one another. Amen, Wall. We're fighting against who? Demons, demons, devils, principalities, principalities, principalities powers, okay. spiritual wickedness in high places, amen, wall. Amen. Oh, yes, we've got to be strong, amen, wall, but we are under spiritual attack, amen, wall. Amen. The devil and his demons, we are at war right now, and we are under attack. Amen. It wouldn't surprise me somebody's under attack right nah. now in here. The devil is trying to turn your mind from the thoughts of God and give you another thought, which is a substitute thought. Amen. Amen. Which makes it sour and is not sweet 
We wonder why some people have sweet lives and we have sour lives. We wonder why some people can fly. Like Kevin say, I can fly, amen, yes, Lord. Yes, and yes, some yes. people can't fly, amen, Lord. Amen, amen. You can't fly uh -huh. until you first die. Yeah, so That's the only time, time you're going to fly is you first you got to die. Yes. Die to sin. What shall we say? Then shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin? Live any longer die yet. I'm talking about Revelation 12, 7. And there was war in heaven. Amen. This war start, that we're in started Amen. in heaven. The devil got too big for his riches. Amen. He saw everybody praising God up there and said, I want some of this glory. I want some of this praise. Matter of fact, God, I don't like how you run in heaven. Amen, Lord. <laughs> and I know you're slow, God. I've been recruiting some of the angels, and they're going to stand by my side as I revoke and throw you off the throne. And then the Bible says, <laughs> when he got through with that little talk, Jesus says, I saw the devil fall as lightning from heaven. God said, you got to go. God kicked him out of heaven. And he fell down all the way to earth. He practiced deception on us. Amen. He couldn't deceive God, but he can deceive us. Look in the Bible. He deceived Adam and Eve. Amen. Not only he deceived Adam and Eve, he's deceiving Adam and Steve. Amen. I let that soak in. Not <laughs> only is he deceiving Adam and Eve, <laughs> but he's deceiving Adam and Steve. Adam and Steve. Amen. Amen. We are under attack. When under attack, I drop by to tell you. Prayer. prayer is a fact. Amen. Are you praying every day? Yes. Are you praying every day? The only thing that's going to keep you in the way, the righteous way, the good way, God has already given it to you. Tell me, God, I need some money. Well, he gave you a means to get money. Amen. Do you not know you can use prayer to get money? Amen. Uh -huh. You don't have to go to this man and that man. Just go to the main man. Because he said, if I open the door, can't no man close. Amen. If I close the door, can't no man open. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes, we are under attack. You better understand this. We are under attack right now. And prayer is a fact. Amen. Amen. Don't wait to get home. But be praying right now. Be praying. One more come through the door. Amen. Amen. Be praying that I get this word. Uh huh. That it'll germinate and bring fruit to thy name, honor, and glory. Amen, Wall. Amen. Yes, when under attack, prayer is a fact. We told you physically we're under attack, right? Yes, sir. We told you about the demons attacking us, right? Mm -hmm. We told you uh, about we're being spiritually attacked. That's why you need to put all your armor on, all of it. Put on your breastplate. Put on your helmet of salvation. Put on your breastplate. You need something in front of you. Your breastplate of righteousness. You need your shield, amen, Wall. Yeah, the shield. shield of faith. Darts are coming your way. Dark, doubts of darts. Darts filled with doubt. They're coming your way. He's shooting his arrow, but you can take the shield. And you can protect your mind up here, amen, Wall. That's all that's going on. That's all that's going on. The reason you're not what you ought to be because you have allowed the devil to have your mind. Amen. Wow. Amen, amen. I told you there's a battle for your mind. The Bible says that God renews the mind day by day. Amen. Wow. Amen. Oh, yes. Something else under attack. Our schools. Our schools. Yes. Are under attack. Our schools, they're taking prayer out of the school. And I warn you, don't let them take prayer out of you. Amen. Yes, they can take it out of the school, but don't let them take it out of you. Continue to pray, our Father, which are in oh, heaven, heaven, hallowed be, be thy, name. thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Continue to pray, give us this day our daily, our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
Continue to pray, leaders, not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and thine is the power, and thine is the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen, Wall. Amen. Our schools are under attack. Why you need to pray for the schools? Because our children go to school. Amen, Amen. Wall. You know why the, the kids are being hurt in school? Because you ain't praying. That's why. You ain't praying, but you'll uh, sit at, wait for 6 o'clock and 5 o'clock to watch the news when you could have done some about the news. Amen, Wall. Amen. We've got good news, amen, Well, We live in a world of bad news, but we got some good news, all right? Our schools are under attack. I'm talking on what? When under attack, right. when our schools right. are under attack, prayer is a fact. Amen. When our human body is under attack, prayer is a fact. When our souls are under attack, prayer is a fact. Amen. When our schools are under attack, prayer is a a matter of fact, but I want you to look a little deeper. I see something else that is under attack. Come Our on. churches uh -huh. on Sunday morning Sunday. Amen. are under attack. If you don't know the church, then you'll go along with this, that, Amen. and the other. That's right. And that's why we go along with this, that, and the other and want this and that in the church and this in the church and the corporate and bring this in because we don't know the church. Amen. The only way you're going to know the church is through the word of God. But our churches are under attack. Let's look at the old church. The old church was a <laughs> factual <laughs> church. Come on, uh, boy. The new church is a feeling church. Did uh, you hear me? I uh, said the old church is a factual church. They say, give me Bible. Uh-huh. Give, give me book. Uh-huh. Give me chapter. Give me uh -huh. chapter. Give me verse. Give me precept upon precept. I got to have line. Come on line. Up on line. Amen. Amen. Well, the old Amen. church was a factual church. You're going to show me because I'm from Missouri. Amen. Amen. Well, you're you going to show me what the Bible says. But the new church ain't no factual church. It's a feeling Amen. church. I want to feel good. Even though I ain't no good, uh -huh. I want to feel good. Amen. Well, now, the, the new church is a singing church. Mm -hmm. Basically what the, the church is predominant and dominized by singing. I don't care it's a, whether it's a cappella or string instrument. It's dominated by singing. That's the new church. The new church loves singing. But, but there's a difference between the new church and the old church. The old church loves the Savior. Mm -hmm. the, the, the new church loves, loves singing. Uh -huh. But the old church loved the Savior and the scriptures, amen, Wall. Amen. Oh, you don't feel me this morning. You want to be part of that new church, amen, Wall. Uh -huh. You want that singing. You want that feel good, amen, Wall. But the old church loved the Savior and the scriptures. Amen. Now, that's another thing about old and new church. The old church, amen, Wall, uh -huh. had holy male. M A L E, holy male preaching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the new church said we don't need no holy male preachers uh -huh. when we can have some homo demo. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me? Homo we can demo. have some homos demo. uh -huh. demos in the church. Uh -huh. Dem demo mean demonstrations, uh -huh. amen. Well, uh -huh. every time a man who is married to another man get up and preach to you. He has violated God. Uh -huh. He has violated the scriptures of God. I don't That's care right. what your government say. Uh -huh. We're talking about what God uh, has say. said. Right. He's violated his own self. Amen. Because the Bible says it is unnatural for a, man. for a man to sleep with another man. It's unnatural Amen. for a woman to sleep with another woman. I don't care what the world says. Amen. I'm talking about what the Bible said. The Amen. Bible said it. I believe it. And that settles it. Amen. Wall. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you we are under attack. Amen. And when under attack, you need to know that prayer is a fact. 
is a fact. Amen. Well, I'm talking on when under attack, prayer is a fact. Now, I'm going to hold this up. I'm going to hold this up. What am I holding up? The Bible. The Bible. This Bible is under attack. 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 And that's a fact. The wonder book. This, this is a wonder book. This book is a wonder. W-O-N-D-E-R. It's a wonder book. Amen. Why do I call it the wonder book? Because the wonder of his age. Uh -huh. The wonder of its age, uh, out of all ancient books, this is the most ancient book of all books. You don't get no more ancient than the Bible. Amen. Nobody can go beyond the Bible. Amen. Wall. Uh -huh. In the beginning. Uh huh. In the beginning. In the yes, beginning, sir. Was the Word. I hear you, boy. And the Word was, was with God. Uh huh. And the Word. Was God. Was God. Uh -huh. Where was the word in the beginning? This is the most ancient book of all books. This is a wonder book. The wonder of his age. And let me tell you something about another wonder about this book. The wonder of his sale. Uh -huh. S-A-L-E. Mm -hmm. This book still is the number one bestseller uh -huh. of all books. Amen. Amen. Well, Amen. So we have the wonder of his age. The wonder of of his cell, amen, Lord. And now we have the wonder of his unification. Unified. The wonder of his unity. We have one book, mm -hmm. but yet we got 66 books that make up this one book, amen, Lord. Amen. In this one book, God said it, I believe it, that settles it. it, whether you believe it, or not, I ain't worrying about what you believe, amen, amen. wall. Amen. I'm worrying about what God say, amen, wall. Amen. What do we do when school is under attack, when your body is under attack, when your mind is under attack? What do you do when we are under attack? Great. When under That's attack, a prayer is a fact. Is a fact. And the devil say, I'm going to get the human race. That's what you said. Well, I'm going to get them smack good. <laughs> because not only am I going to attack your schools, your marriages, and your body, and your soul, and your mind, but I'm going to attack the very fabric of your foundation. I'm going to attack family. Amen. Family is under attack. Specifically, marriage uh -huh. Amen. is under attack. attack. How do I know that marriage is under attack? Because we have male mm -hmm. with male. Mm -hmm. Men have come along and redefined family. God defined family as male and female. Yeah, amen. But man says, I don't agree with that God. Look quiet in here. <laughs> but God is always right, not some of the time, but all, all the time. Amen. of the time. Thy, thy word is true. John 17, 17. Sanctify Amen. them through thy truth. For thy word is truth. I hope I'm coming through yeah. with truth this morning. Mm. When under attack, prayer is a fact. Amen. Know that marriage is under attack. We have the new marriage. Male and male. Mm -hmm. Kissing and slobbing. <laughs> Amen, Wallace. I don't take it back. Kissing and slobbing and knobbing. <laughs> Amen, Wallace. And then in marriages that's supposed to be heterosexual, we have the cheating male. And then we have the cheating females. Marriage redefined. Male and female, female and female. This arrangement is not going very well. 
Male and male, female and female, this arrangement, my man, will never go well nor sell. Amen. Well, amen. Because God going to defeat it all. Amen. Well. Amen. All homongers and all liars. Uh -huh. Amen. Well. Amen. Shall be cast to the lake of fire. into the lake of fire and brimstones. And you're going to have some company. Who's going to be there? The devil going to be there. Who's going to be there? The demon's going to be there. The same devil that was trying to get you to go against God. Amen. Well, the Amen. same demons, they're going to be there. They said birds of a feather flock together. Amen. Well, Amen. Well, I hope you don't flock in hell. Amen. Well, <laughs> I just hope you don't flock in hell. Amen. Well, Amen. find somewhere else to fly and flock at. Amen. Well, 